Have you ever wondered which is better, EMV chip, contactless, or magnetic strips? Welcome to the fascinating world of payment technologies, where we unravel the mystery behind these three popular methods. Each has its own unique features, strengths, and weaknesses. First, we have the EMV chip. It's like the brainy kid in school, with its sophisticated microprocessor chip that stores and protects your data. Then, there's the contactless method, the fast and furious of payment methods offering speed and convenience at your fingertips. And let's not forget the magnetic strips, the old-school cool of the payment world, standing strong since the 70s. In this video we'll pit these three methods against each other, comparing them on the grounds of security, convenience, and acceptance worldwide. We'll delve into the intricate details that make each one unique and help you decide which one suits your needs best. But before we dive in, please to hit that like button and subscribe for more enlightening content. First, let's get to know the EMV chip. The small metallic square on your credit or debit card that may seem insignificant but is actually a powerhouse of security and convenience. EMV, which stands for EuroPay, MasterCard and Visa, is the global standard for chip-based debit and credit transactions. The technology is designed to combat fraud and enhance security for consumers and businesses alike. Each time you dip your card into a terminal, the EMV chip creates a unique transaction code that cannot be used again, making it far more secure than the traditional magnetic stripe cards. In terms of convenience, the EMV chip is a game changer. Transactions are faster, and there's no need to sign a receipt or enter a PIN, just dip your card wait for a moment and you're good to go. As for global acceptance, EMV chips are widely used around the world. In fact, as of 2023, over 200 countries have adopted EMV technology. This means you can travel almost anywhere without worrying about your card being accepted. Now let's sprinkle in some fun facts. Did you know that the name EMV is not just an acronym for the three companies that developed the technology? It's also a nod to the French word émouvoir, which means to stir up quite apt considering how the chip has stirred up the world of financial transactions. And here's another gem, the EMV chip is designed to last for at least 10 years. That's a decade of secure transactions right in the palm of your hand. So, whether you're buying a cup of coffee, shopping for groceries, or booking a trip around the world, the EMV chip has you covered. It's secure, it's convenient, and it's accepted worldwide. It's like the James Bond of payment methods, always on a mission to protect your transactions. So. The EMV chip seems to be a pretty secure and widely accepted method, doesn't it? Now let's jump onto contactless payments. Contactless payments are like the high-speed trains of the payment world. They're fast, efficient, and oh so easy to use. But how secure are they? Well, they come with a robust set of safety features that might just surprise you. When you tap your card or smartphone to make a payment, the information is encrypted. It's like your card details are put through a secret code translator. Even if someone were to intercept that information, all they'd get is a bunch of gibberish. This is because each transaction has a unique code, kind of like a fingerprint. So even if a fraudster manages to decode it, they can't use it for another transaction. But wait, there's more. Contactless cards have a limit per transaction to further protect you. If a person tries to buy a gold-plated yacht with your card, the transaction would be declined faster than you can say, contactless payments. Now, let's talk convenience. It's like using a magic wand. You wave your card or phone over the reader and voila! Payment done. It's faster than a cheetah on roller skates and easier than tying your shoelaces. And it's not just popular in your hometown. Contactless payments are accepted worldwide, from the bustling markets of Bangkok to the quaint cafes of Paris. To put that in perspective, there were over 10 billion contactless transactions globally in 2021. Here's a fun fact. The first contactless payment system was launched by mobile gas stations in the United States in 1997. It was called SpeedPass and was originally designed to make fuel purchases quicker. Who knew it would revolutionize the way we pay today? So, there you have it. Contactless payments are like the Swiss army knife of transactions, fast, convenient, and secure. However, they do have some limitations. Contactless payments certainly do seem to be the future, but are they the safest and most convenient option? Well, stay tuned to find out. Finally, let's take a stroll down memory lane and look at the old-school magnetic strips. These strips have been a staple in the payment industry for decades, serving as the backbone for credit and debit card transactions around the world. Magnetic strips store data in magnetic particles. When the card is swiped through a card reader, the reader decodes the information stored in the strip, which is then used to complete the transaction. 
Incredibly simple, isn't it? In terms of security, magnetic strips have some inherent vulnerabilities. The data stored on them is static, meaning it doesn't change from transaction to transaction. This makes it easier for fraudsters to duplicate or clone the card once they have access to the data on the strip. But don't let that scare you off completely. Many cards with magnetic strips also include other security features, such as a signature panel and a card verification value, or CVV, to help protect against fraud. Now, let's talk convenience. Can you recall how many times you've swiped a card at a checkout counter? It's incredibly simple and quick making it a favorite for many. However, this convenience can sometimes be a double-edged sword, as the ease of swiping can also make it easier for your card to be swiped in the wrong hands. Despite the rise of EMV chips and contactless payments, magnetic strips are still widely accepted worldwide. This is partly due to the cost and infrastructure required to upgrade to newer technologies. Many smaller businesses and developing countries continue to rely on magnetic strip technology, making it a necessary feature on most cards. Here's a fun fact to impress your friends. The technology used in magnetic strips is similar to that used in cassette tapes. Yes, those things you used to rewind with a pencil. Magnetic strips may be old school but they are still widely used but do they hold up against the other two? Stay tuned to find out. Now that we've taken a close look at all three methods let's compare them head to head. In the ring, we have EMV chip, contactless payments and magnetic strips, all vying for the title of best payment method. When it comes to security, the EMV chip seems to have a leg up. Its dynamic data encryption makes it harder for fraudsters to clone cards, giving it a considerable edge. However, contactless payments aren't far behind. They too offer robust security measures, including transaction limits and one-time use keys. On the other hand, magnetic strips, while still in use, are the least secure. They store unencrypted data that can be easily copied, making them a favorite target for card skimmers. In the convenience corner, contactless payments take the crown. A simple tap or wave of your card or device and voila, transaction complete. EMV chips while not as speedy are still more convenient than the time-consuming swipe and sign process associated with magnetic strips. But what about acceptance worldwide? Well, EMV chips are widely accepted around the globe and contactless payments are rapidly gaining ground. However, magnetic strips, despite their security flaws, are still universally accepted, which can be a lifesaver in places where newer technologies haven't yet reached. So we've got EMV chips leading in security, contactless payments championing convenience, and magnetic strips still holding their ground in worldwide acceptance. Each method has its pros but also its cons. The EMV chip's enhanced security comes at the cost of a slightly slower transaction time. Contactless payments, while speedy and convenient, are still not accepted everywhere. And while magnetic strips are universally accepted, their security leaves much to be desired. In a nutshell, it's a bit like choosing between a turtle, a hare, and, uh, well, a dinosaur. The turtle may be slow but it's steady and secure. The hare is speedy and efficient but might not finish the race everywhere. And the dinosaur, while ancient, is still kicking around. So, each method has its strengths and weaknesses but which one comes out on top for you? Well, there you have it. A comprehensive look at EMV chip, contactless payments and magnetic strips. We've navigated the complex world of modern payment methods, unraveling the intricacies of each. From the robust security of EMV chips, the convenience of contactless payments, to the wide acceptance of magnetic strips, it's clear that each has its distinctive strengths. Oh how far we've journeyed from the days of bartering two chickens for a sack of grain, right? Now we're tapping cards and phones, and chips are guarding our money like tiny digital knights in shining armor. It's a brave new world indeed. But remember, no matter the method, the key is to stay informed and choose what suits your needs the best. Be it security, convenience, or acceptance, there's a payment method out there for you. Please hit that like button if you found this video useful, and subscribe for more. Until next time, keep your money safe and your payments convenient.